Hello guys, Mars Freemans here. So last year, my last video was my unboxing experience with Rococo Indie Bundle. Uh, it was fun and thank you Rococo for sending it. So I figured out it would be a nice way to start this year with sharing my experience, my first hands-on experience with Rococo Suit. So I can split this in two separate videos. Um, one's gonna be more about mock capping and other one's gonna be about using it for live streaming. And you can check my live recording experience right here just to see how it would work in let's say VTubing. I just wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Rococo. Uh, Rococo was generous to send me their indie bundle that comes with the Smart Pro 2, Smart Gloves, and the helmet of your choice. You can either choose the one that works with your iPhone or the new helmet that works with Android devices. Their India bundle is amazing because it comes with a 40% saving out of the original price. So you can check their website if you qualify for it. And you can use my discount code RKKMarsFreemonis for extra 5% on top of your 40% saving. So check out their website and if you want to own your own mock-up suit, then just go and use, you know, this wonderful chance to get their indie bundle. So just let's jump in my experience. So obviously I started with, you know, grabbing my suit and going through the whole setup, the first, first setup that you need to do, right? Thankfully, it's pretty amazing that like, you know, they have gave all the cables and everything so I can just hook it up and update my suit. Uh, props to Rococo, they're... YouTube tutorials are awesome and actually their whole setup is super easy. Just plug the suit, uh, plug the gloves, you need to plug one glove and the other one. And then I jumped into the whole process. So first I just tested it out in a Rococo studio to play it around. So super cool, you just create your profile so you can create the profiles for different people if different people are using, let's say your computer and all that. Uh, you can adjust the height. So I played it out with the Rococo character in the studio. I had a fun, uh, try different mockups. I started with like, you know, recording some mockups for my game project, you know, uh, chopping animations and stuff like that. So just kind of like get a feel of what I can do with the suit and how it works out. I'm actually pretty impressed with the results. And this is gonna be unedited again. You know, I could spend more time to cleaning up the mockups, but this is this is all gonna be just a raw thing so we can see how good actually the suit is for a first time user. So I played out with with recording, you know, different kind of animations, just seeing the tracking. Amazing thing was I was actually super surprised that like I, I was walking around. I don't have much room here, but I was walking around testing it out no feed drifting, nothing like that, which was great. So the whole exporting process is super easy. Uh, again, props to Rococo for Unreal users. They have set up all their settings and plugins and everything else. So it's just really few clicks. When you're exporting your mocap, you can choose Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5 ma uh, mannequin. You import in your Unreal Engine project and that's it and it's ready to use it. So I tested out, as I said, the first I used their own character that they have to record my mockups. And I kind of like realized that actually, you know, the, the hands were not going well. It was like going in the body a bit and stuff like that. Uh, I was like, okay, so you probably need to clean up. But then I remember that actually Rococo supports live retargeting in their software, Rococo Studio, so you can since they fully support Unreal Engine characters and all that. And I believe Mixamo and any other like popular like character creator and all that. So I imported Manny into the Rococo studio and I recorded my mockups again. And then I exported these animations. They worked much, much better. Like my hands uh, initially when I was recording, for example, my animation where I'm putting my you know, whatever, I'm gonna put like sword or hatchet or whatever back in like a backpack. And my other, my left arm was kind of like drifting in the body. When I used the money uh, in studio, Rococo studio, and I was exporting that animation, my hands were not going into the body, anything like that anymore. And then I obviously tested out the same thing with uh, metahumans. So I first retargeted money animation, worked great, but I got again, even better results when I imported just a human body and I'm gonna set up actually full body. So it's 
full body setter, but currently I just like imported the body of MetaHuman in Rococo. And again, I just get better uh, mock-uping results. It's amazing actually that in probably like, you know, 15 minutes, you could get a full mock-up. It's just like recorded, uh, all the export settings, all the import settings, everything is like really set up for Rococo. And, and, and that's about it. And, and you have the freedom you can use you know, Unreal Engine money and all that. If you don't want it, you can export in any other way and use any other character if you don't want to limit yourself just to Unreal Engine characters, but you still want to use it in Unreal Engine or any other software. Only big pitfall that I currently notice and I kind of like looked a bit some of the YouTube videos is clapping. While the finger tracking works perfect, uh, hands actually go perfectly, but clapping is not working. And that's why they have a coil. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, their new coil, so I can't test what are improvements with or without a coil for, let's say, the hand placement, but from some of the YouTube videos that I saw, and yet there is a big improvement. So that's unfortunate part. If, for example, you want, let's say I try, for example, like have a sword in my hand, right? Like double sword, um, hands are going like this. So for for any kind of double-handed animations that where the hands are going close together, gonna need to do a cleanup. As you can see, for the first time using Rococo, actually the mockup was great. And uh, you know, for more complex things, probably if I would jump on the things and moving objects and all that, would need to do a bit more cleanup. But for the general, actually character animations, there is no much of a cleanup unless you really put the hands together, but again, you can do the cleanup in their Rococo studio, which is made actually the whole mock-up cleanup very easy, or you can do it just straight away in Unreal Engine if you feel more comfortable with uh, Sequencer. I also tested out the facial expression. So I have an uh, iPhone version, so I just use my iPhone. They have specifically, they have their own app. Um, you don't need to use Unreal Engine, uh, Epic, like, live link that app they have their own facial app they just download uh from the app store facial expressions came really good i i tried on the human i tried on my cat character before i end probably the biggest question is is it like you know worth it we're comparing to let's say some ai stuff um it really depends if spending that money you see the value in your project and as i said like the the, the kind of like one of the biggest things is you really get live feedback um, from what you're doing. And any all, most of the AI solutions is you record your video, you upload, then, you know, in a cloud, it processes and gets you back and you can upload your video 10 times and it gets like different results and all that. For, for me, for my projects that I'm going to do, I definitely currently going to stick with my Rococo suit and not going to even remotely think about oh you know what i don't feel like putting the suit today i'm just going to use um my camera and one of the ai solutions it's i, I think in the just it was way easier to just to put the suit and i can see live what i'm doing and i can fix my posture my hand movement and all that as i go instead of you just you know upload it and hope it's going to go and it doesn't and then you need to record it again and you need to record it again and record it again time and money right so if the time is important i still think that mock-up suits has its place and it's it's still the king that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh i definitely gonna have way a lot of more rococo videos that I want to try and find some interesting ways how I can test it out. I, but I had a ton of fun. It's really nice, really comfortable, really fast way to record uh, mockups for your project. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.